Welcome collectors, thank you for joining me for this episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new classic construction models, Caterpillar D7G track type tractors in 1 to 48 scale. There are two versions available. The one on the left is the D7 with an A blade, and the one on the right is a D7 with an SU blade. Both of these models retail for about the same price, and that is $219.95. As you can see, they come in the black style of CCM packaging, and each come with a little reprint brochure, which also serves as your serial number. As you can see, both of mine here are serial number 53 for each respective model, and they are both signed by Gary from CCM. These are also helpful to keep because they do provide some information on the real machine, which of course, if you are interested and you'd like to read, please at this point, feel free to pause the video and check those out. All right, let's go ahead and get the models unboxed. As I mentioned before, the boxes, are uh, very professional style. You have a blueprint drawing of the models on the side. Obviously, the CAT logo. CAT D7G tractor with SU blade, 148 scale. D7 track type tractor with A blade. The side, again, just has 148 precision die cast scale model. The bottom has all of your trademark information. And the way to unbox this style model, if you've never opened a CCM piece, there's two sticker tabs here. You just pull those off like this. And then you can open up the model. And inside, you'll find two pieces of styrofoam, which again, you can just remove. And your dozer will be nicely cozy inside. So just pull the paper apart and very carefully take the model out. So there's the D7 with the SU blade and the ripper. What I'm going to do now, we'll take a very quick break. Allow me to get the other dozer outside of the box. We're not going to waste too much time watching me do that. When we come back, we'll have both models out here on the review table, and we'll take a closer look at them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this short break. All right, folks, thank you so much for sticking with me. Welcome back. As we do all the time with any CCM models, I'd like to give you just a short introduction in history based on these pieces. So the D7 has a long and storied history. It was first introduced in 1938, and it has been in continuous production since and has a military action that's very storied and a very healthy history. It's been in every major conflict since World War II. The newest CAT D7, the CAT D7E, features CAT's intuitive electric drive system. The D7E, these right here, uh, or excuse me, the D7G, rather, getting ahead of myself, these were originally released in 1974, and they came equipped with a CAT 3306 turbocharged diesel engine, putting out 200 horsepower. These workhorses are still seen on some job sites today throughout the country and indeed throughout the world. So two very different models here in 148 scale, as I mentioned before. There are 500 pieces of each of these, or there are 500 of these and 500 of these. I mentioned already that we have serial number 55 for both of these. Uh, the first one that we'll take a look at is the A-blade version or the angle-blade version. In my opinion, I think this is probably my favorite of the two, just because it has the logging sweeps configuration. It has a winch on the back, as you can see here, and obviously it has the aforementioned angle blade. Now, unlike the D8s that we saw recently, the way that you do the angle blade here is a little bit different. It actually has an already inserted pin. And as you can see, these three predetermined holes are where you would insert the, the pin. So let's take the other side out just like that. As you can see, our blade is kind of just dangling right now, but that's okay. So let's say we want to put it in this first hole on the left-hand side. So we just insert it right here. Okay. And then we'll put the other side, this side, on the furthermost one, furthermost hole. And there you go. So now the blade is angled fully to the right. The system works well. They stay in. And I think it's works a lot more effectively than those oversized and kind of um, flimsy pins that we saw before. I'm a huge proponent of this system, and for few, uh, further releases of dozers that feature A blades, this is what I would like to see moving forward. All right, so also the blade does raise and lower, and I can show you that as well. So here's it fully raised, and we'll go ahead and put it down all the way. As you can see, it does go below the dozer, so you can lift the machine 
slightly off the ground. Okay, as for some of the minute details that you'll notice on both of these D7s, and that is the exposed engine detail you can see straight through. Looking here, the uh, radiator grill or the engine inlet is drilled into, but it's not drilled through. Uh, as you can see, there's the CAT logo. You have your exhaust, your air cleaner, your operator's control station up here with your gears and levers, your seat as well. And obviously you have your ROPS protection structure up here. Underneath of the tractor, you can see the metal tracks which will roll. There's the CCM logo and that the serial number underneath is 053. If you want to move the tracks, you can do it by hand as they are tensioned and spring-loaded. There you go. Okay, let's move on to the SU blade version. There are some notable differences, obviously, with not only the blade, but the fact that this has a three-shanked ripper on it. You can raise this up to there, and you can also lower it to here without forcing things. Again, I never like to force any things on CCM models, so always take this with a grain of salt. I'm not saying this is the full extent of the range of motion, but this is really the full extent without forcing anything. Also, there is a good look at the cylinder protection uh, jackets, if you want to call it that, or at least the, prote the protection feature that's on the rams, which I really like. You don't see that too much on dozers anymore. If we lift these back up and out of the way, we'll turn our attention to the front of the dozer, where we will lift the blade as far as it wants to go. That's pretty reasonable and respectable. And we will lower it as low as it wants to go now. And with some care, you can also tilt the blade forward and backward. Again, just to demonstrate that as well. So there you have it, collectors. A very quick review and recap of the brand new CCM Cat D7Gs in 1 to 48 scale. I think these are great and worthwhile additions to the CCM collection. If you have been waiting to see a review or waiting maybe to see some pictures on social media, I would definitely say they're worth it. Again, if you didn't catch it at the beginning of the video, uh, these are priced, I think, relatively affordable for what you get at uh, about $220 US a piece. As we know, with any CCM pieces, as soon as they, so, uh, as soon as they sell out, they will dramatically increase in price and value. So don't hesitate to pick these up and add it to your collection. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.